Bob the Blob is infiltrating a bandit camp with his beloved companions and his wife and some simple... Uh... What are they? Blandian footmen, yes. Oh my goodness, I am. Oh, Bob the Blob is too powerful at throwing. He's throwing so fast and so powerfully that I'm not even sure how to aim anymore. It's great. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah. See, Bob the Blob now has skill and strength. And uh, the ability to field a, a rather decently sized army, honestly. He's still only able to fight by throwing his buttered skewers, but that is not necessarily really a weakness. Considering how dangerous they are. But yes, he is a man of power now, married to one of Dothert's bastards. Or, oh, well, you know, what we assume to be. Although we're not really sure that Dothert's supposed to be the lord in charge of here. We're not sure who's ruling or why anymore, really. I mean, obviously Dothert's ruling, but should he be ruling? And because we're not entirely sure, Bob the Blob needs to make sweet, sweet romantic, not romantic love to everybody that uh, is within Blandia so that he might gain their favor and in such a way they may wish to back him or others or okay, do you know what, we're actually going to duel this guy because um yeah that guy didn't stand a chance Yummy. There's still war going on, of course, though, which may need to be indulged in for more more money, because 140,000 is not the most money you could ever have, especially not if, like, Bob the Blob, you really want to buy all the expensive stuff you see. But he does still need all the people of Landia to like him, so that they can support him in his decisions. And his decisions are, well, nobody really knows what they are right now, but they are gonna exist. Like, what does this guy want? You can't sell this. Nah, who cares? And we've got a bunch of evil heroes in here, which is always interesting. But maybe we should aid the country in expanding, if only to make allies with everybody. Uh, we'll see. Garansaw Castle. I mean, Bob the Blob does want to do some intrigue that doesn't involve getting his hands dirty all the time. It's a bit difficult for him to decide exactly what to do when. Wait, is there a lot of people in there? Looks like there's a lot of parties in there. Not parties of uh, hero troops, though. Cervic. Cervic's going away. Doesn't know what he's doing, I guess. Or am I just not close enough? No. Flame Castle to defend. Oh. Sure, let's do that. We should be faster than the army here. Batanians are attacking as well. Oh dear. Uh, this would seem to me that someone needs to defend the Vlandian lands. Oh, oh I, maybe I could defend those guys as well, but a little bit too distracted by the fact that Batania is now at war with us. And that may be dangerous now that the offensive has gone out. Oh. Now look at this, a courier has arrived, and indeed, it is as expected. As expected from gaining Clan Tier 3, Durfurt has requested that Bob the Blob becomes a vassal. Do you know what? I like the sound of that. But... When do we like the sound of that? We do want a castle, but we don't want a castle that's poorly placed especially not if we want to help grow the power of landia now i'm gonna look at something i never look at can we sort by prosperity these are probably all the ones we know because a lot of ones we don't know about or oh, they don't yeah lots of ones we don't know what the prosperity is oxhall and Praven, jekyll and oscar these are all just our places, interestingly enough. I'm surprised we don't know what the prosperity of some of the other places we've been at, but... 
more yeah obviously we need a town with high prosperity and we need to make sure that we don't get a castle out in the middle of our end nowhere because then that's all we're gonna get because it's easier to get to be given places that are closer to each other for obvious i mean that would be obvious normally but that's also just how it works are these guys going on the offensive against britannia now i can't aim at the army oh yeah they are lock in well look at that uh, I suppose we should see where Durthurt is at. Our friend! No, last seen near Viron. Well, that's pretty, pretty close, actually. But it's also worth accepting fealty for a few extra troops and some... Oh, he's got, he's got an army! Durthurt has an army? My goodness. He's gathering... I don't know where he's gathering, but I can't be bothered to do that. We will speak with Durthurt when he isn't chilling too far away. <gasps> Caladog! Tegan's army! I think it, it's looking pretty bad for Cervic here. Now, I do want to help Cervic, actually. I don't want our guys to get beasted, but I don't think I can let Caladog get too close. No. These guys may end up fighting these guys before I could do anything, but if I can stop Caladog from getting in, there's a good chance that we can do this. But I need Caladog gone. I just hope that me chasing him has not made it impossible for me to return in time. He beats us peace? Oh my goodness. Caladog is extremely serious right now. See, he's not even aggressive. He Is he afraid of Bob the Blob? He knows of the name of our Valor, and it would be an honor to cross sword. Well, let's spare a moment. Let's jest with him. Decreased by two. Okay, we're, we're fighting. Now, that's an unpleasant set of options. How about we just not fight today? No. I don't think so. What? Catalog afraid to fight? Since when? I... Don't think I've ever seen this before. He must be a strategist enough to see that this is not a fight he can win. Is he actually good at the strategy tactics? 81? I mean, I guess. Leadership? Yeah, charm? Okay. I guess he just knows. He's not in a good place right now. Honestly, I think that's pretty aw That's pretty amazing. I don't think I've ever seen Kellodog be somewhat sensible when it came to what enemies to fight. That is impressive. Impressive. I mean, like, Caladog is a little bit like Durfurt, you know? He's an enemy that... Sergeants in charge! Huh? What? No. Troops. Not Sergeants in charge. What button did I press? One, two, three, four, five, six. Take six. over command! No. Under my orders! Yes. So forward. And it was F7 I was trying to click. Look that move! Oh, fine. Okay, what oh, What a mess. Oh, luckily nothing happened. Okay, uh, now we just need to get into position and probably have to reposition for a while continuously because the... Because Kala looks actually fleeing my gold. Very well, two horsemen on... with bows are coming close. Might as well try and uh, make sure that they don't keep coming close again well that's better yeah we're still not really close enough because they keep they keep running backwards yeah they're going further and further back what the hell yeah i think we're slowly getting into a position where our archers will be able to fire or our crossbowmen hello they are doing well i hope yes she is our buddy now and soon the corpses of our new battalion foes will also be our buddies. Where are they going? They're not coming closer, are they? Are they? They look like they're running again. I have to say, it's a little bit annoying. Soldiers, move! We're moving them a bit further up, and we're going to go in. Th this is it. This is enough. The, the 
Peladog, it's enough. You have re probably reached the end of the map. Just stop powering back here. It's time to fight. Or not. As soon as we are no longer in Oh, oh, hello. How many do we need to kill before they realize they can't just sit here and die? I suppose we'll just have to keep going until we find out. They may be going out. Oh, I see Dirtfoot. Dirtfoot? Sorry, I mean Kellogg. I mean, they are so similar in the role that they play when they're enemies and allies. Okay, your, bo your boss man, your leader, Kellogg is gone. Can you please move? That's that's enough. Time to charge. Even the even the archers are gonna charge. We're all gonna charge. Charge time. Shields do not defend you against the biceps of Bob. The blobulous biceps of bygone power. It's as if he is cursed with the strength of a giant. The most powerful of all. Oh my goodness. Everything is rushing in to take care of the royal. Uh, something, something. He's gonna try and find something that rhymed a little bit or just sounded good, but no. No, it didn't. It's fine. Utter destruction is always just well worth it. No, you die, you can. Oh, shit. Oh, no, this guy with the hammer is taking us up on our offer. But luckily, uh, yeah, we, we have support. <laughs> oh, we have more than that. Caladog is ours! Bada bing, bada boom. And he's even got the Tanians locked up. That does not make any sense to me. Well, we'll uh, fill out what died with their stuff and we will oh my goodness upgrade upgrade well that was something now it's time to see if we oh god there's another army there oh haven't you... this woman has said so much about xenon the robot i don't know what's even going on and you know what? i don't care anymore i Shit, uh, this army's already been defeated? I... This bigly? It's been defeated this bigly. There's nothing left. Or are they chasing someone? No, that's literally it. What? Okay. Uh, whoops. Well, can we lure some of these smaller ones to fight us? No, we can't. I suppose we're going to have to go south then to try and save Durthurt's army from the Imperial army that's going down the hill. Rather than save it, just do what else other, makes sense. Okay, these slave guys, are you gonna get out of here? Guys, get out of here. Yeah, just steal, you little shit. Die. All right, actually, we should sell our prisoners before we go down and help Durfurt, and then... But do you know what we really want to do? We really want to say hello to Caladon. We kind of want to say hello to Caladog, don't we? I mean, this is the king of the Britannians. I wish you peace and prosperity. And of course, I don't want that. Well, that's a very nice crown you've got, Durfurt. And I... I'm going to take it. Now, this is not an option that I am going to do much, or very often on Bob, because this option is how you get loads and loads of money. I can actually get him to marry one of the people? We're obviously not going to do that. That would be insane. Wait, who do we have in... Maybe we should. Who's not playing that's free? Uh, yeah, we're going to do this, and then we're going to find us, because... Uh, yeah, we just have our child, Ed Brunda. We don't want to give him a companion, so... Uh, yeah. 
Right, it gives so much money that I don't like doing it much at all. But there is something here, something to be said about acquiring uh, tokens of conquest. Like these shoulder pads that aren't really that much better, but I mean, we got them from Dirtha, so that just makes them way better. And a crown, a high ceremonial crown that is absolutely beautiful. Wait, there's another one of these? Oh no, we didn't put that on. Well, we can basically become... I mean, I love the straw hat, but this crown is rather beautiful, isn't it? Uh, yes. In public, we look a little bit like... Uh, <laughs> oh, Caladog now. Beautiful. Actually, we should consider decking out our other guys in casual outfit, but I can't really... Gotta be honest. Uh, bear pelts, that any good? I mean... Mm, how about you? No? Is this helmet really just that bad? Nobody wants it. Hey! Ira! The Wanderer can have it. Kellogg didn't have that good stuff, did he? How about the horse? Kossian. Not better than our horse. Scale barding is better than the barding we have. Well, there we go. Thanks. That was it from us for Kellogg. And that's all we're going to do. Now we're going to sell him off for money. That and obviously we're going to sell all the stuff. I'm not going to say sell everything because of this. I'm going to try actually. Ah, see, we already equipped the stuff that was worth stuff, so. It's good. Oh yeah, well you can just sell everything here. Okay. Oh, except for the final sword, I guess. Engraved back sword. The exceptional weapon here. Who uses one hand weapons? So I thought, you know what, I don't want you to have one. Do you not? No. Wife? She's got two handed sword for some reason. Hey, rather one, right? Yeah, she can have the engraved back sword. She is our. Hmm. We favor her quite a bit. And you know why? We favor her for I a very simple reason. She likes flirting. As the only person we've ever met who does. And Bob the Blob has to, you know, reward that sort of behavior. Wait, Dothar just... Ran away? He ran... Why... Did he do that? Defenders 1... Okay, uh, 1,000 something. I don't know how big these guys' armies are, but I suppose they're not... Holy shit level. Actually, this is another gathering army, and these armies are going downwards. I can stop this army from even actually gathering properly. Now then, come no closer. Yeah, I'm coming closer and you're done for. And he's afraid. Blah, blah, blah! And onwards, wearing Kalar Dog's shoulder armor, showing everybody that Bob blah, blah, blah is serious of business. The most serious of business you can even business. Bob the Blob. He is the danger. And he doesn't need to say it. Just me, I am saying it. Just because it's nice to say? Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna see if I can't tempt them to do something other than hide at the corner of the map. But I really doubt it. I really doubt they're gonna be tempted to do anything else. This is this is all they're gonna do, I think. Oh, is that that's him? That's him himself. Is he just riding in? Ver Vermus, yeah, he is just riding in like a madman. Along with the other cavalry, I guess. Okay, there we go. That's what he gets for doing that. Infantry go in. Let's not give them free reign with their stupidity. Huh? I think the infantry is actually coming closer. Archers are at least. Looks like they're coming closer to me. That means everybody can go in. And, uh, you know, our archers are already going for it, so... No reason to do anything there. 
Come and fight Bob the Blob's Blendian Powerhouse. Mm. Looks like we are going to lose some troops, but not nearly enough for us to not go in. See on the robber. Yes, level up, man. Looks like they have some good infantry, though, because we are losing troops. Ah, uh, I suppose our infantry is not the best, huh? I don't know, I'm not sure. But, uh, we will not let that... Ah, uh, always allies hopping in in front of me. I just killed our own Druzenic champion, that feels bad, man. He wasn't Blandian, though, so it's fine. <laughs> Just sing the weapons. Just sing them about. Uh, mm, yes. Well, pop into prison. Ah, that feels good. Well, at least one less army that's going to go. Oh, Garantor Castle is going to get taken, and Gar that Igalfa's army probably is too. But we. Well, that's quick. We can now talk to Dertha, though. Right? We now have the opportunity to talk to him. Be fully and properly inducted. Oh, mercenaries. Left and rejoined. I guess they wanted more money. The only problem with this is that obviously we do not. Actually, Penta not getting taken would mean get us getting Lockhen is fine. But Lockhen is always one of those places that gets taken all the time. It's dreadful. But let's see if we can't speak to Dertha. Join the continuing siege and speak. Can we not speak? Uh, we're not allowed to speak to him during the siege going on, huh? That's kind of... Uh, I'm not really sure what to think about that. I suppose we can join in on the siege to make taking it instantaneous when they finally initiate it. Because otherwise, it takes a lot longer, doesn't it? But we will keep an eye on better, th better things to do. Ah, well, here we go. Help the other army. Nothing really happened, so let's do it. Oh, look at all these Vlandian shields. Always a delight. We are going to rush ahead of them, of course, because we are on a horse. And Bob the Blob intends all the glory for himself. Actually, we should kind of want to see how we could uh, take down the main gate with our throwing weapons. I mean, we obviously should be able to. We probably can't. It'll take too long. What we can do is stand here and throw our hippity hoppity spirity shoppies at these people. Although I can't actually see this guy, so I don't really know what I'm aiming at. I don't really know how much health this thing has either, because I did doing 20s in damage to hit. I don't think that's really doing much. That's, uh... Okay, this... We're not really getting the aim on How are we not hitting these guys? Are they dying before we get to do anything? Is that what's happening? Are we going too high? Too low? It's just... What are we hitting? That's something at least. I don't get it. This is uh, it's just not as many people we're hitting as I would have expected. We are we throwing so fast? We're just not hitting anybody. Like our weapon is phasing through existence through in the air. Is that possible? At this point, I'm gonna have to say I think it is. Yeah, that hits. I mean, I am starting to think that, uh, yeah, something's up here. 61 damage. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't think it's that good. Actually, it does. It looked like it was visible. It looks like it's visible. You know what? I'm just gonna stand here and help break this down then. Because at least we can hit it. We can't hit people. Because our throwing weapons seem to phase right through them. This is really suspicious stuff, if you ask me. Maybe that means one less battering of the battering room, huh? 
All right, you know, let's because we have the perk probably it means that our throwing weapons act like ballista bolts. So maybe that's why they actually do damage to the gate. Uh, come on, really? It's as if the speed has made it so that um, you know, I don't know, that the, pro the projectile size is smaller. Oh, actually, there's lots of people up here we can throw our things at now. How about the siege men? Actually, now we can go in here. And if not too many people go in front of us, we can just help throw this gate into oblivion. There we go. Now we've got to get in. In we go. Good job, guys. That point blank range they're not getting thrown. What is this? There we go. Come on. Okay, we've got to get up there. Oh my god, do they all spawn here? I think they all spawn here. Well, none of our concern. We are going to stop this catapult from catapulting people into the stratosphere, which it is doing. Except people are going away. I'm confused. Wait, is this burning? Can we just... Where, where do all the enemies go? Oh, come on. That was going to be fun. We were going to do this. But they're all gone. They're all defeated. Oh, my God. That's just... Guess we win. Ooh. Ah, well, you know, still a good, still good victory. It's fine. Lochan Castle is taken. And now we can probably speak to Death Earth. Talk to the army leader. Yes, we are ready to accept this offer, Durfurt. And now, we are your champion. And we have a plenty of champion and knights on our team now. And we have a spear wall banner. Increased damage against mounted troops 20%. Yeah, we want to do more damage. That's good. Thank you, Durfurt. And Sentinel, a two-handed sword that we are never going to use. But perhaps the wife can. It's worse. Seriously, Dartha? I mean, here you go. She can have it when we're traveling around inside. How about that? There we go. The wife is fully equipped for battle in uh, back alleys and stuff now. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes! Good, King Dartha. Thank you, my lord. Bob the Blob is no longer a nobody. He is a lord. And how do we make our lord happy about our oh, compliment? Increased. Well, he appreciated it at least. There we go. Now, we are a lord. And he's probably going to say that we should um, be given Lockhang Castle. Which maybe we should. Ooh, charm perk though. Homes and influence return when a supported person fails to pass. Ooh, maybe. Plus 10% relationship bonus when you pay more than minimum amount of bars. That's... That doesn't even do anything. Oh, Brenda. Hello. What's up, Brenda? Two-handed weapon power? I guess so. Whatever. We're not even looking at that. What we are looking at something now is that we can make an army ourselves. And everybody's kind of in an army and the people that are remaining are expensive. I think it's the expensive part that's important. We don't have enough influence. Oh, we're not earning money anymore. Ooh, whoops. Okay, what are we going to do now? I don't know. Um, probably going to be given Lockhand Castle, unfortunately. Which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, maybe it's not too unfortunate. What is this quest, anyway? Scout enemy garrisons? Do you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to take the quest. You need someone with experience. You need someone with experience in scouting? We have scouting. We have 18 scouting. Oh, hey, we're getting level. Okay, owner of Lockenhan Castle. Who's it going to go to? Everybody thinks it's going to go. Yeah, yeah, see, I told you. It's going to. No, we're actually going to get. These guys will appreciate me more if I actually say yes to this thing. Wait, Darth, that's using 70 influence to make it go to me. Okay. Yeah, everybody likes me a little bit more. Except for the Ospian Ingolfer man, of course. Never mind, it's just them not liking me. Oh dear. 
I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with this, because, uh, it's a terrible garrison. We don't really have any troops spare to give, and it's right next to a lot of enemies. Uh, we will stack up all of these things so that it eventually gets upgraded. We're not gonna. We're gonna put a little bit of money in it. Just a thousand gold. Not more than that because I'm not sure we're gonna keep it. But uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Bob the Blob is now a noble vassal, and he has the worst castle ever. Yeah!